In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, today we honor the Most Holy Trinity, the community of divine persons who loves and saves us. We pause at the beginning of this liturgy to open ourselves up to such a gracious God. Lord Jesus, you are the only begotten Son of God. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you live with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are present in majesty and glory. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. God, God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, the Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, if I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. 
agree with one another, live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss and all the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord of Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the Son, only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In seminary, in one of the classes I took on the Holy Trinity, we talked a lot about God the Father, about God the Son, but we weren't talking about God the Holy Spirit. So I asked, what about the Spirit? The professor stopped and said, the Holy Spirit is what ties everything together. The Holy Trinity is three persons, in one God. The Trinity is a mystery. With the sign of the cross, when we make the sign of the cross, we invoke the Trinity. We bring God first into our minds. Then we bring the Trinity down to our hearts. And then our hearts filled with compassion, we move the uh, Trinity across our bodies, to our shoulders and our arms, to better bear the burdens of our family and our friends. The Feast of the Trinity goes back to the 12th century England, and St. Thomas uh, Becket, Archbishop of Canterbury. Historians say the great Thomas celebrated a liturgy in honor of the Trinity in his cathedral. His soul was born the observance. In the 14th century, the uh, feast became observed by the Universal Church. The belief and the Trinity goes back to the, Old to the New Testament, where it's mentioned 40 times. We open each liturgy, each prayer through the invoking the Trinity. We call, uh, close it by calling upon the same per three persons. Throughout the Christian world, infants will be baptized into a community through baptism in the name of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the arms of the mysterious trinity, we will be sent uh, forth, officiated by the priest at our funerals. Albert Einstein said, but the most wondrous thing in the world is mysterious. While Annie Dillard stated, our life is a faint tracing of the surface of mystery. The trinity is one of the greatest mysteries that not even Sherlock Holmes or Agatha Christie could ever solve. Our world is filled with mysteries. We live with them very confidently and comfortably. Scientists estimate that 90% of the cosmos is a mystery. Mystery and reality, wrote Walt Whitman, are two halves of the same sphere. From the earliest days of the Christian era, geniuses have been wrestling with the Trinity, but most have struck out. St. Augustine in the fifth century, his concept of the Trinity was lyrical. The Father is the lover, the Son is the loved one, 
and the Holy Spirit is the love that they send forth. In the fifth century, St. Patrick found the three-leaf clover uh, uh, and he said that was one of the images of the Trinity. In the 21st century, another uh, a, a priest came up with the idea of the Trinity being like this, water. Water is either a liquid, if you put it in a uh, freezer, it's a, a ice, it's a solid, we boil it, becomes steam. Still the same, H2O, but three different forms. Our, 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 our finite language can't define the infinite trinity. It's difficult for us to realize today, but the questions of the trinity were debated in the centuries past, and they're going to be continued to be debated. The trinity is a communion of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Trinity is a reality lived on a human level. It's a gift, a gift of being able to, uh, uh, to share with one another. The hope of the Trinity is summed up in John 3:16. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. Wow, That's, this statement is very powerful. It sums up what we celebrate today, Trinity Sunday. When we see someone holding up a sign, say in John 3, 16, let us open our Bibles and remember the love that God has for us. Let us make this phrase personal to us. If we change the phrase just slightly, it will have a profound effect in our lives. God so loved me that he gave his only son so I who believe in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. The Trinity is a mystery. We must wrestle with this. Albert Einstein said, whoever can no longer wonder or no longer marvel is as good as dead. Annie Dillard says, how we spend our days is of course how we spend our lives. Laws allow the Trinity to be part of our lives. Our goal of today is not to, get in, no, to the, not to get us into the Trinity, but to get to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit into us. May we remember that all prayers begin with the Trinity, with us acknowledging that God loves us, and we love God, and we're to love one another and to share that love. Amen. And let us stand. And together we say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With confidence, we make our needs known to our triune God. that the church leaders strive to knit believers together in a self-giving community of love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, help us. That all peoples of the world come to lasting peace through mutual respect and love for one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, help us. That those in any need encounter the eternal love of God through the self-giving love of the community of believers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, our prayer. That each of us chooses more fully to express our belief in Jesus by living as he did. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Holy and triune God, you desire that we be saved. Hear these prayers that we may one day be with you in everlasting life and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord says, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by making it us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person but in the trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, we might be adored in what is proper to each person's, their unity and substance, and their equality and majesty. For this is praised by the angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he is betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy is all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with, uh, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as so we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant to peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, the of, the sins world. of the world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. On Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. Before the mountains came to be, and the land and sea and stars of the night, though the endless seasons of all time, you have always been, you will always be in every. Oh, God, you have been our...
and let us pray. May receiving the sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our masses and let us go forth glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful week. Today, uh, I'm certainly sure you appreciate the celebration of Mass and how much it means to you and means to so many in the community to be the heart of a worshiping community, to give praise to Christ. And so I ask you, uh, in your goodness, to continue your support and generous support of our television ministry here in the Diocese of Las Vegas. And may God bless you for your generosity.